wife in the backseat of my brand new foreign car. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're really, really well. So I have just been to the Fenty Beauty launch in Harvey Nichols in London. And um, today obviously was the first day it was launching. So this is me straight from the launch, looking a bit sweaty, looking like a hot mess but I'm so excited to film this. I just had to sit down and do it. So it launched at 8 a.m. in Harvey Nichols across the UK. In the US, I believe you can buy it in Sephora. And I left my house at 6.30, got two buses across London and queued up in the rain. It was really cute. They gave us um, wristbands, Fenty like press juices and Fenty cookies. I don't know where mine is right now though. I wasn't invited or anything like that. It's pure beauty passion fueled. Because we were the first certain amount of people in making purchases, we got a Fenty bag, which is very cute. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you what I got. I'm gonna do swatches and then I'll try it all on for you and give you a first impressions. I do have to give a disclaimer now that unfortunately I didn't buy everything from the collection. If money wasn't an obstacle, I would have bought everything. But these are sort of the products that stood out to me the most, and maybe you guys might be interested in a few of them. But yeah, it's not going to be everything in the collection. So the first item is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation, and I got the shade 310. So this is what the foundation looks like. You get 32 millilitres, which is slightly more than an average foundation, which you'd normally get around 30 millilitres. And I got this for £26, and it also comes with a pump. Mine's a little bit dirty from swatching. But I just wanted to show you a swatch of the foundation on my hand. This is 310. And I just wanted to compare some other colours. So this is Fenty Beauty 310 Warm. This is MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC42. This is NARS All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in Syracuse. And this is Estee Lauder Double Wear in 4W1 Honey Bronze. So in terms of this foundation, it comes in 40 shades. Now in my opinion, that is incredible for a makeup brand to start with 40 foundations. I've seen some brands start with 10, four, oh sorry, I just spat everywhere, eight, but no, this is 40. So it might not have every single shade in there, but I think it is a great start and how other brands should be following. Things can always be improved on, but I think this is honestly a, an amazing first launch of a foundation. And the next product I got is the Matchstick Trio in Tan. I'm going to insert a few Snapchats from the shop so I can show you the other shades of the trio. But basically the Matchsticks are cream highlighters, blushes, matte highlighters and cream contours. And you can buy them individually or if the shades that you like come in a trio it's better value to get the trio if that makes sense so for five pounds more I'd get an extra stick within the trio so it is better value to get the trio however you obviously can't customize your shades as much as you like and this is what the packaging looks like how stunning we have the FB at the top there and the cool thing is they're magnetic so when you mix and match your matchsticks tongue twister you can you know customize them and stick them together and I think it's just a really nice touch so the trios contain a matte concealer or highlighter a shimmery highlighter and a contour shade so I'll start with the concealer matte highlight shade and this is in the shade caramel you get this much product which is pretty good I think because it's quite girthy I mean thick this is the shade truffle that I got for cream contouring and it looks like this and these were quite cool because they were some shades specifically for contouring as in really cool tone but then there are shades like truffle which another skin tone can use as their matte highlight so they're completely switchable you could use whatever you want. And oh, this is so beautiful. Oh, 
I just dropped it, but <laughs> this is so beautiful. It's the highlight stick in the shade Rum. So this is the shade Truffle, this is the shade Caramel, and this is the shade Rum. And they're super pretty. I'm so excited to use these. I mean, this isn't going to be a blinding highlight on me, but the shade Medium, it just wasn't quite right for me, so I decided to go with the tan shade. Personally, I don't really like matte highlight sticks, so that caramel shade, because it's slightly deeper, it works out quite well, because I can use it for pinpoint concealing, where I need more coverage, where I want to be more matte, because these are meant to have a matte finish. Now, the next item I got was the Kilowatt Highlighting Duo, and I got the shade Mean Money and Hustler Baby. There was another shade that I thought was beautiful, which I sort of was tempted by. It was called Girl Next store I believe and the deepest shade musk and mule and ginger binge I think were stunning for deeper skin tones like beautiful and the highlights retail for 26 pounds this is what it looks up close but I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it might just reflect off my lip ring light but when you tilt it to the side you get this flash of iridescent blue sparkles within the packaging and this is what the product looks like this side is the shade mean money and this shade is hustler baby the only thing which i guess is a manufacturing issue i'm gonna use my lip liner to point it out because it's easier than my fingers is this overlay of product oh, on the very edge of this side of the highlighter can you see it's almost just not been quite pressed down at the edge uh, but I mean that's not really going to affect the use in my opinion I'm not too bothered about that and the Hustler Baby shade here is a lot more shimmery and intense and the Mean Money shade on this side is a more soft highlight and I love that day to day sometimes I don't want like that completely light reflecting beam don't get me wrong I do love that some days but others I just want something softer so I think that's really, really beautiful. Here are the finger swatches. So this shade here on my middle finger is the Mean Money shade. And on my ring finger, it is the Hustler Baby shade. You can see what I mean, as in this one here is a lot more intense. And last, but certainly not least, is the Gloss Bomb, which is a lip gloss in the shade Fenty Glow. And I'm not even a gloss person, but these collabs, they just keep making me want to buy gloss and oh, I just couldn't resist. Packaging again is absolutely stunning. You have the FB at the top. And I really like the doe foot applicator. It's a nice chubby, big doe foot. And this is what the shade looks like. It's like a soft pink. Um, a soft pink nude. It's stunning on the lips and you can see it in a lot of the campaign pictures. But now I'm going to go wash off this makeup that I've been wearing for so long and we're going to try out the Fenty Beauty makeup. Ah, so exciting. <laughs> now I don't typically use a primer. I just feel like I've never found one that really works for me and a foundation should be able to perform pretty well without one. Um, adding a primer should only really enhance it more and I'm sure there'll be loads of other tutorials using primers but I'm gonna do what I normally do and I don't use a primer but feel free to do whatever you want to do if you powder before foundation then go for that if you do pore filling illuminating whatever you want so I'm gonna start off by shaking the bottle because it says to and then I'm gonna take one pump on the back of my hand I normally only really use one pump of foundation it's quite runny but let's get it on the face i've got a massive spot there like massive let's do half of my face first and i'm going to use a brush with this side i personally like to layer foundations quite lightly and then build them up I never go in um, with a lot at first. Looks like a pretty good match. And then I'm gonna take a, a wee bit more on the back of my hand and just buff this. 
across where I need a bit more product. I can tell automatically that it is that soft matte finish. I don't think I mentioned to you guys, but I've got combination skin, so I'm quite dry on the cheeks, but pretty, or I can get pretty oily in the T-zone. I'm not actually used to a foundation this matte, but it does look nice. I'll just get a bit closer for you guys. So this is what it looks like up close. You can see it did conceal that blemish I had there. And it did a pretty good job of these ones. But I reckon I could build it up if I wanted to. And in terms of texture, it's not that tacky at all. So I'm going to take one pump and my damp beauty blender. And this is my personal favourite way of applying foundation. I just feel like it makes it look so flawless and is better for my dry skin or my cheeks. Sometimes buffing foundation can lift skin up um, and it can emphasize dryness. Ooh, I don't know which side I prefer. So this is the side with the beauty blender and as you can see, you can still see some of my scarring. However, I don't mind that. I'm gonna try and build up in a second, but here's what each side looks like. I feel like the brush side might be a little bit more higher in coverage, like I said because the beauty blender will sheer things out a little bit. So I'm gonna take a tiny little bit more on my brush and I'm gonna build up my blemishes on this side of my face. Just tapping over really gently. This spot is like a whew, monster underneath. And then I'm taking my beauty blender and I'm gonna build it up on the cheeks. And this is what the foundation looks like after it's been built up a little bit. It's definitely easier to build coverage with a brush because a beauty blender just keeps like lifting it back up. Pleasantly surprised by a soft matte foundation. I normally always go for dewy luminous ones but this does look really nice. I don't think it's emphasizing any of my dryness. So I've actually just applied a bit of under eye concealer because the matchstick in caramel isn't quite light enough for my under eyes, but I'm gonna try and use it on some blemishes and redness around my nose. I feel like it's got high coverage. So I'm just gonna stick my tongue out so you can see the blemish a bit better. Oof, I'm just gonna cover all of these scars. The coverage of these is intense, like super, super intense, but it's quite creamy and then it dries to a matte finish, which I think is quite good because you want something to stay. You don't want anything too, too creamy. So I'm using this one as cream contour. And because it's got the same ingredients as that caramel one, I assume it's gonna be high coverage as well. So I'm gonna be very, very sparing with this. I think if we went in like this and did a lot of lines, we might struggle to blend it out. On the back of the box, it listed caramel and truffle under the same ingredients and rum separately because it's a shimmer. Yeah, if you do pick up any of the contour shades, just be mindful that they are very full coverage as they could be used as concealers as well. And I'm just gonna take some on my stippling brush. This is the M436 by Morphe. Like you have to be quite mindful, these are not like the Rimmel contour stick that I use where it's only meant to be used for contour and it's quite creamy and sheer. This is full coverage, dries matte and could be someone else's concealer depending on their skin tone so I'd be really mindful of that. But I thought this wasn't going to blend you know, but look at that. Ooh girl, Rihanna's not playing. <laughs> 
I think this is the key to application. I'm sure some people might not like the application so much if they were to draw it straight on their face because it is so full coverage, but I think that's pretty beautiful. I'm taking the shade Truffle on my finger. Because this is quite a dark shade, I'm gonna sort of use it as a bronzy highlight, I guess. It's so beautiful and add such a sheen to my cheeks. So this is sheeny, matte, sheeny, matte. <laughs> I'm gonna use some down the center of my nose as well. Because why not? And I'm only gonna apply this to one side of my face because we also have the powder highlighter and I wanna show you what that looks like alone and on top of the cream. So first of all, I'm gonna go into the shade Mean Money, which is that softer glow, and I'm gonna apply it to the bare cheek first. And of course, apply it above the cheekbone, above the brow bone, sorry. It lightens it up quite nicely because that truffle matchstick was a bit dark for a highlighter actually. So now let's go in with Hustler Baby. Oh, see that just gives it that pop. So you've got the sheeny glow and then the pop. I don't want to apply this everywhere like I did before. I just want this pop to be at the very highest point of my cheekbone. So I will try and wear it as long as possible. We'll stretch for eight hours maybe. Um, I've got cooking to do, cleaning, um, got to go out and get some stuff, just potter about a little bit really. So it is now just after four, so I've had the foundation on for about two hours. Remember, I didn't powder it. So this is how the foundation is lasting on its own. I feel like I could maybe powder my um, forehead a tiny bit. I think on camera it's coming up a little bit more dewy than it is in real life. But um, I don't feel the need to powder quite yet. Um, maybe in a few more hours. <laughs> Hi guys, so this is gonna be my final check-in and my final thoughts really. I went back and looked at my footage and I think the footage of me applying the lip gloss cut out but um, this is what it looks like and I also added highlight down the center of my nose but again those clips got corrupted so I'm really sorry about that but you didn't miss much so it's now 20 to 9 so it's been just over six and a half hours since I first applied this foundation and I have to say I am really really impressed I've eaten dinner I've cooked I've cleaned me and Callum sat on the sofa and watched um, Dexter and I think it looks beautiful. This is what it looks like over eight hours of wear. This is the side with the cream highlighter in rum. I might have said truffle a few times, but the contour shade was truffle and the highlight shade was rum. And then I applied the two powder highlighters in Mean Money and Hustler Baby on top and that's lasted amazingly but even without the cream you can see the powder has lasted amazingly on its own and you can still tell I've got like a bronze color on my face even though I didn't use any powder bronzer it was just that cream contour stick it might have faded a bit on my acne scars um, not too bad on this spot at all but a wee bit on my acne scars here so it's maybe not the longest wearing foundation like an Estee double wear, Estee Lauder double wear but apart from maybe this blemish here I think it's lasted really well everywhere else. Yeah I'm really really happy about it. My final thoughts are a definite thumbs up for this foundation. So I have dry skin on the outer perimeters of my face and it hasn't accentuated it at all. It applied really beautifully with a brush and a beauty blender. In future I think I'll use a beauty blender just because that's my preferred method in general. I could see myself getting the most use out of truffle out of the three sticks in the trio. In terms of the highlighter I think it's lasted so so well 
and a lot of the time highlighters fade on me but I'm very glowy on the cheeks and the lip gloss is beautiful it wore off obviously because it's only a lip gloss and I did not expect it to last at all but I would 100% repurchase it I think it would be a really nice birthday gift because like they only have one shade and it's Fenty Glow and they're wearing it in all of the campaign pictures and I think that like would be a beautiful Christmas present or a beautiful birthday present. If I had to recommend my top products to purchase, it would be the foundation. I'm so happy with the shade match, so happy with the flash photography and so pleasantly surprised by a soft matte foundation because I normally only go for dewy foundations. Two, I recommend the lip gloss because I think it's just a staple piece. Like Rihanna's a very glossy lip kind of gel, although she does pull off a beautiful matte lip and one of the matchsticks in a contour shade are oh, and my fourth okay my fourth product is definitely the highlighter I think it's stayed so well layered on top of cream it's laid well and stayed well but on its own I think it's stayed really really beautiful overall I found the Fenty Beauty hype to be so worth it. I'm so glad I went at 6am and looking like a hot mess now. It was so worth it and I can't wait to see what they bring out. Thank you so so much for watching. I really appreciate all your kind words, comments, likes. It means the world to me. Have an amazing morning, evening, day, wherever you are and lots of love. Positive vibes your way.